And joining us now is News Nation's chief Washington anchor and host of On Balance with Leland Vittert. Leland, uh, thank you for joining us and welcome back to Capitol Review. We got a lot to cover. Let's get right into it. What is your impression of that first Republican presidential debate? Interesting, but perhaps not all that important in the sense that we're not talking about one moment from the debate that stands out and changes the Republican primary fight. Therefore, the Republican primary fight hasn't changed. Therefore, we are today on Thursday uh, at the same place we were Wednesday afternoon, which is that Donald Trump is the undisputed front runner. And it doesn't appear as though that there's anybody who has done anything or said anything to change the dynamic and to begin to chip away, uh, not necessarily at other people's support, because we're going to see a, a, a shifting of the deck chairs, if you will, among the other Republican candidates after the debate, but nobody said or did anything that appears to be able to chip away at Donald Trump's support. Well, Leland, the elephant in the room, of course, was former President Donald Trump missing the stage. Uh, he was missing on stage, and instead he did a sit down with Tucker Carlson. What is your reaction to him not being on the debate stage? And what, what stood out with his interview uh, with Tucker Carlson, if you got a chance to look at it? I had a chance to, to, to watch both it and the debate, obviously. I, to me, what stands out is that Trump won the debate without being there. Uh, and it's very hard to argue with success. Of course, as journalists, you always want everybody to show up. I always talk about Al Michaels, uh, the great sportscaster, who says he doesn't root for a tr team, he roots for drama. Um, and certainly Donald Trump being on the stage last night would have produced a lot more drama. Uh, he wasn't. And his interview with Tucker Carlson didn't produce a lot of drama. But all of that said, we have to deal with the, re the, the realism here, the, the situation that there's not a lot of drama in the Republican primary fight right now. Uh, Donald Trump is up by somewhere between 30 and 50 points in all of the early states, and not one candidate has yet begun to show that, that he or she, in the case of Nikki Haley, can chip away at Donald Trump's support. And until somebody shows that they are able to take off Trump voters, uh, then you have to sort of look at this as almost like an incumbent running certainly appears as though at this point Donald Trump has the nomination. Uh, who came out on top last night? Uh, you know, who stood out in your mind, uh, even though it just seems like it's a race for second? Well, I think you're asking who stood out in the debate. I, yes. would, I would go back to my initial answer, which is who stands out as Donald Trump. And, and, he, and he doesn't have to debate it now. Um, and, you know, he, you know, everybody says he's going to show up for the next debates. It almost certainly seems not. Look, everybody had their moment for different reasons last night. Um, did anybody accomplish sort of what they needed to accomplish to have a breakout moment? Uh, we haven't seen that uh, by evidence that there's not one clip that everyone's pointing to and going, oh, my God, that was the moment that this candidate showed why they can be president uh, and why they're different than everybody else. Uh, you could go through candidate by candidate. Did they accomplish what they needed to? Um, and I think pretty much at every every point, despite what their campaigns are spinning today, there, there's nobody who the the general public's perception of is greatly changed because of the debate. Some people had very good nights, um, but I don't think there was any breakout moments. You talk about no breakout moments, uh, Leland. What happens next? Uh, in this Republican presidential race? Is it going to be pretty much the same? Uh, the candidates really aren't taking big swings at uh, the former president, you know, to help knock him down. I mean, how can the dynamics change if everything stays the same? Well, that's a great, that's a great question. Um, and I think that would be one better put to the candidates themselves, because there, there does not seem to be anyone who's been able to chip away at Donald Trump's support Yet, the caveat to that is, is that it's a long time until Iowa. It's longer till New Hampshire and a very long time until Super Tuesday when the voters actually get to decide this. So as interesting as the prognostication is and the pontification is, this debate is the beginning. It's not even the end of the beginning of the Republican nominating process. So who knows what's going to happen between now um, and January or February of next year. And what you're seeing, I think, is for at least a certain part of this field, they're positioning themselves to be ready if something does change the dynamic 
uh, among the primary electorate with the former president. So far, it hasn't happened. That certainly doesn't mean it won't happen. Leland Vitter, thank you very much for joining us on Capitol Review. Good to see you. Good to see you.